Richard Louis Pronick, born on May 4, 1916 in the United States of America, died on April 20, 2003 in California in USC, was an American self-educated naturalist, conservationist, writer and wildlife photographer, who from the age of 53 lived alone for nearly 30 years, 1969 to 1999, in the mountains of Alaska in a log cabin that he constructed by hand near the shore of Twin Lakes. Pronick hunted, fished, raised and gathered his own food and also had supplies flown in occasionally. He documented his activities in journals and on film and also recorded valuable meteorological and natural data. The journals and film were later used by others to write books and produce documentaries about his time in the wilderness. Richard Louis Pronick said, learn to use an axe and respect it and you can't help but love it. But abuse one and it will wear your hands raw and open your foot like an overcooked sausage. What a beautiful poem <laughs> from a really experienced lover of earth, lover of nature, a real original farmer who could only sing a song of this nature. Such was the beauty and power of his saints, the person who is deeply involved. Learn to use an axe, learn to use your wife, learn to use your husband, learn to use your teachers, learn to use your guru, learn to use your samskriti, learn to use your religion, learn to use your leaders, learn to use your seniors. At the same time, learn to use your juniors, learn to use your students, learn to use your family, joint family and the family tree. That is the connecting link of your the use, learn to use your Bible, learn to use your Bhagavad Gita, learn to use the Quran and the Torah, yes. And respect it and you can't help but love it. If you can respect it, when when you when you learn, you earn. Learn and earn. You drop the L and you start earning from that. The, the, the day you do not have a practical learning, then you never earn. When you do not earn, it will never digest, means it will never melt in your body. It should get melted in every part of your body. Yes. And you and the learning subject becomes one. That is how they call yin and the yang. Positive and negative only can create electricity. When you and your husband, you and your wife becomes one, you and the children becomes, you and the family and the family tree become, you and your teacher becomes one. And that is the time you drop the L, learn becomes earning. When you can see it is always getting the benefit back. I was learning Marma Chikilsa. It's a kind of a treatment, traditional treatment on the borders of uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. There was one Guruji who was teaching me. He invited me and he said, uh, last 12 years I've been teaching one Muslim boy. I will take one student only once in 12 years. After 12 years, I thought I must initiate you, so he, I went there, he initiated me, he started teaching me Marma Chikilsa. Oh. And he always kept on telling, keep this art with you, keep your art with you, respect it up, and you can't help, learn, and you will learn it, learn, and one day it will come in handy. I was not much interested, he said, please spread the art wherever, whichever country you are going. And I was in a Japanese I was in Japan and in the, in the train, in the subway train when I was there, suddenly one person had a fits and nobody was touching, he was shaking. I rushed up what my Guruji has taught. I just put a handkerchief onto his feet and I pressed a particular nerve center and he came back to senses. 
Recently also somebody had called this one. I went and did it. My children asked me, what did you do? What did you? I said, no, I, that is a secret. I'm not going to tell you. What I'll tell you. Oh, learn. I did it. And all the Japanese crowded thing was all bowing to me, bowing to me. Can you believe? Just a simple thing. But you earn it. You earn the respect. Learn to use an axe. Learn. It's learn. Drop the L and you earn it. That earning keeps coming. When did you not get the earning? The, the day you would not met with your husband, with your wife, with your children, then earning never come. You keep on suspecting what is running in your wife's mind, what is running in your husband's mind. Finished. You will never, it never strike. They say if you see the gap, you shouldn't see. The, you should not get even a chance to tell there is a gap. The leg flies, the hand moves to see the gap and knocked down is guaranteed. It strikes without thinking. You go to your wife and she's so happy. You go to your husband and husband is so happy. Do not think what they will think. Go to your Guruji. Maybe depending upon the mood. Even the mood is so tasty. It can be a upinkai. It can be a, what do you say for upinkai? Pickle. It can be a pickle. It can be so sweet. So why should it dissect? Why should it divide things a particular language richard lewis pronick said learn to use an axe learn to use and learn to use yes when you learn it then you and the subject have to become one then you start earning nothing god gives you god will never leave you without a penny it keeps money keeps coming you keeps earning and I am an example in Indira Nagar. I keep on learning from the people. People kept on. I never attended a single seminar, refused to attend single seminar how to run a school for the handicapped or for the visually child. I kept on sitting next to my children, sitting next to the people who come to donate. I just listen everything I learn from the people. Yes. When I when they learned it, I just dropped it and I and they become one. I always Feel anybody comes to my school when they keep the feet in same school, I we are blessed. I always feel that they come in God's form. They are God for me. That is my earning. And it keeps on kept on coming close and close, kept on coming. People kept on giving for me to from three children, for me to have thousands of children. Learn to use an axe, yes. And respect it, yes. You must respect, not just when you say respect in front of them, and when they turn around, you poke and talk bad. No, no. Respect is just simply respect, is whether it's a small respect or a big respect. Whenever we have an annual day celebration, we give a uh, um, social service award, we give Uttam Seva award, and we give social service award, Uttam Seva award. One more award we give, no? Three. Three awards, or three varieties. And um, one of my friend who is a political leader, Lakshmi Venkatesh, I he said uh, we have uh, selected one uh, big business person, we selected one big politician, we selected another one person. Yeah. Lakshmi Venkatesh was shocked. What is this? I just ordinary of a newspaper wala who is picking up my extra old newspapers. He's coming and buying from me. For him also, you know, because he came to buy. And when when I when he takes to my, my uh, newspapers, he gives me money on the spot. Yes, and without a fail, every day evening by four o'clock, I told him exactly. Many people came and said, "I give three lakhs, five lakhs. You will take all the." I said, "No, no, I know this person, and he gives me money on the spot." I gave him also an award. Like you understand, you treat everybody equal. The rich, the powerful, the politician, everybody on the same stage. Everybody is God. How could I dissect them? Divide them. That is my earning. And respect it. And you can't help but love it. You have to love it. Whether it's my children or Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. When the child enters my school, my house, it's only my love, my love. As if I have given birth, I always say, you are not your, your children are not yours. This child, I have given birth from here. This is my baby. Oh, I feel so much. Every child is my baby. Respect it. Use it, but don't misuse it. Learn to use the next and respect it, and you can't help but love it. You love your body, you love your bed. You can have a beautiful sleep in this bed. You go to another bed, you find difficulty getting a sleep. Why are you asking for a bed in the hospital? You get a sleep where they do not have the time. Papa, Corona warriors, they are dying. Don't disturb them at this time. Instead of helping them, you're disturbing them. 
asking for a bed, asking for oxygen. Do go, go to the open area and breathe out. Yes, embrace it. Anything you embrace, yes. God will always give you a, an extra help. Many people at home, within two days, three days of their medicine, they were okay. Love is very important. But abuse one and it will wear your hands raw. You abuse that one. You don't learn and earn and love it and respect it. And it will wear your hands raw. Open food like an overcooked sausage. You can see the axe. There was a person, a woodcutter. He was cutting several trees. Then as years passed, he was not even able to cut one tree properly. So he went to the bo bo boss and said, I think I'm getting old. When I first, when I started cutting, I could cut 20 trees. Now 20, 10 trees, 5 trees. Now for a day, I can hardly cut one tree. I think I'm getting old. So I wanted to retire. And the owner said, it is not that you are old. Every day I'm seeing your muscles become so much. Your whole body is looking like a, my God, Tarzan, my God. Looking like a real uh, fighter. In fact, my wife is always peeping through the window and telling me, look at his body. You stupid having a fa family pack. Look at his body. Cut, cut. There is no six pack. That's only 60 packs all over the body. You are a powerful man. You are not old. It's a, please don't joke at me. The owner said, it is not that you are old. You forgot to sharpen your axe. Open your food like an awkward sauce. If you don't sharpen your eyes, if you use your wife, you don't sharpen her or love her. You don't use your husband, you don't sharpen. Every day you have to sharpen it. Every day. Like my uh, rice cooking vessel, uh, steam. Every day they have to go, go clean it up and the uh, smallest drop of rice is stuck inside. Then it not cooked properly. Even the milking machine, the smallest dirt inside, you will not be able to use the milking machine. It's every day cleaning. Morning and evening, cleaning and drying up and putting in proper place. Every day, you fuck it. You give your wife or your husband a new clothes once in the Ugadi day. No, 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 no. Every day is Ugadi. Follow up is very important. Smallest gap can create Corona. Smallest gap. Richard Lewis Pronex said, learn to use an axe. Learn to use your children, your wife, your house. Clean up your cot in the bed. The bed. Learn to use the bed, take it out, respect it by putting a sunlight, clean it up, change it up, bed sheets, blanket, every day, every day your blanket and respect it and you can't help but love it. But abuse one and it will wear your hands raw and open your food like an overcooked sausage. Take care in this season, steam, rock salt water, take a scrub bud, throw the things out from your house and sleep empty plane on the floor then you can see no foreign matter will enter and disturb you this is my 412 small talks